I feel like it's a blessing. God led me here because I did not and still don't know how I'm going to get up the rest of this money. I didn't think I was going to be able to get anything. Thank you. That's better than what I came in here with. It was the last thing that he was ever able to give for her. And it's worth more than money to me. A customer walks in, not alone, and carrying a unique item for Detroit. Rosa Parks, obituary. Rosa Parks lived out her dying days in Detroit. Seth is appalled by the price, but decides to inquire about the reason. Thousand dollars. I just figured it was historical. Six kids besides her. So give me a minute, let's check this out. Les has to check. This is the official funeral program. Girl, Ms. The problem is, the booklets were mass produced for her funeral service. 50 bucks. The offer is not the best, but it is something. Thank you very much. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And I'm happy to have it for my personal collection. A mother wanting to help her family approaches Les. I'm here today uh, to see what I can get for this jacket here. I'm trying to help my family out. We need some food in the house, a little okay. food in the house. I'm, I'm a severe asthmatic. Just uh -huh. graduated two weeks ago from Oak Park. After having heard the story, Les wants to assist her. Her daughter graduated a high school that I went to. When you look somebody in the eye, you can definitely tell that they really need help. 100% leather. Uh -huh. We have plenty of coats, but yeah. not many in leather. Um, our clientele really doesn't look, you know, for this kind of stuff. An offer is made, and the customer is more than thankful. I'll go 40 bucks. Thank you. That's better than what I came in here with. Let's go right over here, and we'll take care of you. All right, thank sure. you. Sure. It's not about the money. It's about helping sometimes. OK, thank you so much, thank and you. you have a great day. Thank you. You as well. I <laughs> sure will now. A customer looking to get her items back meets Ashley. I'm here to pick up some items that I found. I have some jewelry, DVD player. Everything seems normal for Ashley until she notices something. This lady starts crying while I'm doing her transaction. I'm sorry, I'm a little nervous. Daughter's father was murdered. And it was the last thing that he was ever able to get for her. She is able to help her and give her back her items. It's, it's so hard, and I had items that was worth pondering. Really happy for her, because she was so excited. Here I'm here to help you. I'll bring your TV out to you in about two minutes. Thank you for listening. Oh, please, I'm always here. We're here for everything. We have a customer in need of help. So this is what I've got. All my grandmother's jewelry is get back to California so I can be with my seven-year-old son. I'm hoping that I'll get at least a 1000 for everything that I have. It appears that Ashley goes above and beyond to help this customer. And then that's my grandmother's wedding ring that's in there as well. I also want to be with my son, so I think she would understand. I can help us lead a little bit. 250 Big difference from what I was hoping. Could I get 250 then for all this and just keep my grandmother's ring? Finally, the customer has a smile on her face. The fact that Ashley let me keep my grandmother's ring, and it's worth more than money to me. I could not imagine not seeing my kid for more than a day. Good luck. Thank you. Next on our list is a truly one-of-a-kind item. It's a um, music box table. No, I don't buy that. Why not? Who won't listen to that? I bet I agree with you. How'd you get it? I bought it at an estate sale, actually. I was hoping for about 150 This one's really beat up. And what were you thinking? I was thinking 50. However, they do finally come to an agreement, thanks to Ashley's compassionate heart. 25 maybe? I'd go 50. Personally, I wouldn't give you anything. Fair. But, you know. OK, you know, I'll take it. She's very, when we go in the back, she's a little too fair, to be honest <laughs> with you. Go right over to this one, though, and okay. Ms. Fair will take care of you. All right. This woman is in the store trying to get some money for her grandmother's funeral. She has a bag of stones that she doesn't know how much are worth. Um, I have these bag of stones found out of my grandmother's house. She just passed not too long ago. Oh. I'm just trying to get enough money for her funeral. How much did you want for these? Like 50 or $100. Les wants to help the woman and has the gems checked out to see how much they are worth. I really want to help this girl out, but these stones look like glass to me. Times are hard right now. Ashley doesn't think that these stones are worth anything, but Les wants to have an expert look at them before dismissing them. My gem expert is coming in this afternoon to look at a few pieces. You know what? If you want to leave these with us, I'll have him take a look. Dad, what? this is a waste of time. I'm going to show it to Bob. He'll make the final call. The expert checks the gems one by one, and even though most of them were worthless, he shows them one that he finds interesting. These are nothing. So take okay. a look at this. Holy Oh, my God. I mean, this is the find of a lifetime. In her bag, they find a real Burmese ruby, and the price they offer her makes her flip out. This right here, this is a Burmese ruby. So we'll be able to give you $10,000.
Les is happy with the find, but is also grateful to be able to help her out. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Why are you I can't even imagine. A lady walks in on the brink of tears. I'm trying to bury my father. He, this is all I had. I never been to a pawn shop before, and nobody's helping me with anything. I'm supposed to be at the funeral home by two o'clock. I don't have the money to bury these people. Les immediately tries to help the customer after listening to her story. When did he pass away? He passed Wednesday. Really? How'd he die? He had a heart attack. How uh, old was he? <laughs> he was 70. I would certainly hope that this woman isn't telling me a story. To, to bury him, they told me it would be 2400 I only have like 750 of it. This lady is in a really difficult spot. Take this stuff, take these rings off my finger. Y'all got these clothes off my back. I just want to bury my well, body. Not real. I mean, we'll try to help you, but there's no way that, that you're going to get, what do you need, $1,700? You're here to help you, but it's going to be under $500. Les calls in Seth to offer a good deal. How much I do don't want to buy it. You're I not going to sell it. I need the loan. She had a big computer monitor. I know about sewing machines. How much can you go on this? Send Just tell me. to the funeral home. I don't care. Loan? I can go $700 on everything. Together? They are able to help the customer. I feel like it's a blessing. God led me here because I did not and still don't know how I'm going to get up the rest of this money. I'm sorry. No, really. thank, thank come you, here, so man. Much. Thank you. It wasn't shedding bull tears. I love y'all so much. Y'all be blessed. I might just come back up here today after this funeral and thank them some more because I can't thank them enough. I can't. It's. It's crazy. <laughs> a mother in need of a way out approaches Ashley. Um, I'm looking to pawn this. We were in a really bad situation in New York with my ex-husband. Pretty much standing on my own two feet trying to do this on my own. After hearing the story, Ashley can see the pain this lady is going through. Yeah, it's good. Can I actually you know, Yeah, she wants 300 all together. You could probably go 100, maybe 100 and, uh, 150 and top. She tries to give her the best deal. 200 total. I hope this starts to help you out. I hear story after story. I need to unwind. Bobby J notices a customer not in the best condition. <laughs> okay, I'm Bobby J. Come over here real quick for me. They told me that I don't take the white Xboxes no more. And I needed the money to get my car fixed. Car. So the car, is it in our driveway? It's like right off the... Uh... It's off the service right? Yeah. Oh. After hearing her story, he makes something happen. Okay, if I walk out there and see your car, I'll go 65 for you. Can I... All right. Sure enough, her car is literally causing a big bottleneck. We got to do something. Bobby J gets the car out of the street and proceeds to make sure she gets her money. Right in that parking spot. Go back to the store. So they're going to take care of you, okay? Thank you. All right. I didn't think I was going to be able to do anything. Do that now. A customer looks to get an item to fit his case. What you I've, got here? No, this is an empty case. I was hoping I could put a base into it today. I need a deal today in here. What are you working with? 150. Oh, man. You got a gig tonight, huh? Yes. Knowing the feeling, Rich makes an exception. You gonna buy me a beer if I come down? Yeah. Yeah, because you're a nice guy. I appreciate this, man. I needed it. Lifesaver, Rich. And we get a performance straight from the soul. I could tell he was a bass player from Detroit while he was playing. Lips come together, eyes close, and chin goes up. Next up, we have Seth's dream game walking in the front door. How you doing? Wow. Bubble hockey. Bubble hockey. Detroit classic. I used to play this game when I was a kid. I won it. Negotiations quickly begin and Seth is on the front foot. I'm thinking $2,500. Right? Buy him brand new for like 1200 bucks. How much did you pay for it 10 years 3, ago? 3500 I'm paying under a grand. But this customer has a suggestion. Maybe we work out a little game, winner gets the uh, price. I'm willing to take that gamble, but we got to come up with a fair price. Well, you want to up it? I'll go 16400 All right. I win $1,600, you win $400. Let's go. A bet is set, and now all that's left is to play the game. I'm right when you are. Go ahead, hit the button. Ay! Yeah, baby! Oh, you're in trouble! It all goes downhill for Seth as he loses, but Rich has some news for him. Good game. Good game. <laughs> Seth, Seth, come here. These aren't those $1,200 ones. Yeah. These are going used for like $2,500. I still made a good deal. In the end, we're going to make money on it. Next up, an old couple walks into the store with the president. There were two of them cast. 
The artist got one, and my husband got one. I asked the fellow that was doing the other one if I could do one, too. The artist sent it to Berlin to be erected on some site where Kennedy made a famous speech. Les has his interest peaked. The artist, his signature, in the year 1964. I can only imagine how much this item is going to really be worth. Negotiations commence. How much did you want for him? Was thinking right around five grand. What are you looking for? Five grand. I know that, but what would you actually take? A thousand bucks. Who the hell's gonna buy it? Art collector. Yeah, but then you gotta go find him. A dilemma hits the couple as they now have to rethink their strategy. Two thousand. Okay. Thousand bucks. It's a fair price. I'll give you a thousand bucks. I'll give her fifty to take you out to dinner. We'll give you a thousand and a hundred. Okay. It's a piece of. American history. A couple is looking to unload items, mainly from the husband's garage. We're here to sell a lot of stuff that he's been accumulating over the years. I've had it since I was a little kid. Everything's old and smelly. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. They have their items checked, and Les asks for a price. So let's see what we got. Bring some stuff over here. Frying pan must be worth something. This is my hockey cards. Pins. Kind of some eight track tape. <laughs> yeah. How much do you want for all this? I would be happy to give it to you. If you want a hundred, we'll take care of you right now. I really want to keep just keep all it. Oh, come on. You want 150? But I just I can't I can't do it. There's a lot of back and forth, but it's not over yet. All this stuff that I've had all these years, $150. He said if he can keep his Tiger yearbook and his Nixon faceplate and his hockey cards, he'll sell it for $150. You can have this in the cards and you will still take it for $150. After much discussion, they finally reach an agreement. He really wants the Nixon faceplate, though, because he loves Nixon's his favorite guy. And that was fine. He really wants ten more dollars. One fifty-five. One fifty-five. It is. I never thought I would sell my Richard Nixon faceplate. God, I love that thing. I know now that it's gone, he'll be much happier. On a rainy day, a customer brings in a unique item that catches Les's interest. Seen one of these before? Let's see. Oh, okay. It's an antique. Well, it's been passed on from generation to generation. It's a very cool unit. I hope we can buy it at the right price. Negotiations prove challenging, as the item holds sentimental value for the customer. Hey, how much you want for this thing? Looking to get about eight hundred dollars. Why? Man. It's an antique. Man. Okay. Look up an antique wine press. Uh, looks very similar uh -huh. to that. That sold for two hundred bucks. Okay. After much discussion, they finally come to an agreement. We found that you can buy it for much less. One hundred fifty bucks. Give me three hundred. I wouldn't go 160. If you want 151, put it back in your car. We'll take it. Deal. Thank you very much. And it's an antique wine press. How cool is that? Not. It's not just a wine press, it's a story. Passed it down from generation to generation. That's the kind of thing that sells. Next up, a customer is looking to pawn their childhood toy. The Jackie Kennedy doll. My mom bought her for me when I was a little girl. She's never taken her out. No. Ashley is drawn to the story and makes an offer. How much you want for it? I've seen them go up to 300. They have the paperwork. That's what increases the value. So what's the lease that you take for it? 75. After some back and forth, they reach an agreement. Do 40. You do 50? 40. OK, we'll do 40. 40? All right. We have a customer looking to sell some very special items. These were my great uncle's guitars. And how long have you had them? Um, I've had them for four years. Seth quickly realizes that these two customers are struggling. You okay, man? Not really. You can just get a loan on them, right? No, we're going to sell them. You want? How much do you need? Thirty-five hundred would put our bills intact. You guys worry? Come on, retired. Now. He's retired from Chrysler. Chrysler. Oh, this is my dad. I take care of him. Right. He decides to give them a fair price and seems to get an agreement. 18? 18 of you. Okay. Thank you. Did that help you out? Yes. Thank you. That would help us out. I'm a hugger. Maybe it's worth something. Maybe it's not. Whatever it is, I help these two people out. Seth shows the items to Les. Okay. I give him 1800 bucks. This is a 1980s. These are beautiful. And you only paid 1800 I think they're worth a lot more money. These could be worth some serious money. And they go to see if the deal was worth it. Give me yeah. the serial number on it. Give me a favor. Grab the other one. Mm -hmm. Two seven. Oh, I don't think I paid him the right amount of money for these two. Seth calls the customer back. 
Hey, it's Seth from American Joe. You guys were in a couple hours ago with the guitars. You know, I was actually doing a little bit of research and I seem to have made a mistake. Are you guys available to come in later on this afternoon? Seth has another offer. To help you guys out, and because I just didn't feel right after finding out on where we ended things. Another grand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So hopefully that helps you guys. So we appreciate you guys coming here. Thank you guys. God bless you. Hey Seth. Nice work. Thanks, Dad. Thank you, Jesus. You cheered up a little bit. Yeah. A gentleman is looking to propose to his lady. Today is a good day. My baby girl, we've been together three years. I want to propose to her. I'm going to blow her mind. You know, I'm going to sing a little song, everything for her. Baby, love you. I want to be with you the rest of my life. Take this and be my wife the rest of my life. So let's start here. Let me get that one, though. I like that one. However, there seems to be a problem. You want 500? 500 is what I got. That's right on the nose. Here you go. So you got a credit today. Yes. There's a problem, though. This is a year old. Credit's only good for six months. The customer becomes very agitated. I want to be with my lady. I want to marry her. What the hell am I supposed to do? I want the ring. Oh, hell no. This this ain't happening today. You better go get your boss. The boss is me. I'm telling you, that ring is coming with... Well, man, what is he doing walking up on me, bro? Security steps in. Man, you better back up off me, bro, for I snack. I'm sorry, bro. Why'd you just take your teeth out of your off. mouth? You learned some in prison, dog, and you don't even want to see it, dog. But man, get, get up off you ass. Hey, I'm telling you, we get married Bobby, today, dog. dog. Snag one more time. I'm going to show you what it's about, my boy. I'll put you, I'll put you in a hole, dog. Man, I'm quick, man. I'm quick, dog. Y'all, I'm up out of here. A customer with a unique item. This is a Himalayan snipe. What? This is the closest thing we have to proof of an abominable snowman it's actually the rear end of a deer well the other end is mounted on the wall seth gets the negotiations underway how much are you looking for just on that piece i'd like to get 600 dollars for it i won't i wouldn't go that low i think i want at least 450 i think 300 would be the very lowest i would go they go back and forth and they finally get to an agreement 200 dollars cash right now two and a quarter no not two and a quarter i'll tell you what you go 250 and he's yours 230 240 235. 235. Got a deal. This customer seems to be very tired of waiting. Dog, how long I gotta stay in here, man? I mean, just give me the <laughs> dog. The employee makes a comment and Les has to approach. I'm probably voting your ass, <laughs> but chill out. Don't start with me for real, fam. Tripping. I'm what straight from what? So, but why do you keep talking? What you got? How much you want for this? Pay 100 shoes, 30 something. Well, how about 10 bucks for this? Man, all right, I'll take okay. for ten dollars, yeah. man. Once outside, things escalate quickly. I that up for real. You see, he touched his face. It ain't about you not wanting nothing, big dog. Because if we was in the hood, it'd have been went down. You feel if me? If we was in the hood, I would have wrecked your bitch ass. Ain't no security around me right now. You try to do this. Security and Seth have to step in. If I was scared, I'd been ready to be real. You feel me? If you want to do something, you see where I'm at, big dog. So are you leaving now? Yeah, I'm, I'm finna leave. So go. Hey, for real. Or he can meet me in the hood. You're done, right? Yeah, I'm good. All right, thanks. Thank you for watching. And as always, like and subscribe for more content.